Hi and welcome to our video 20.1 Redox, which is just short for oxidation reduction. Normally when people say that when we say it, the short way, you say redox first with the reduction first, but people don't usually say reduction oxidation. It's oxidation reduction, which is why it's kind of like backwards like that. All right, so here we go. First, we've got to look at some oxidation state rules. And you guys have gotten used to looking on the uh, reference table for oxidation state numbers, but there's very specific rules that we have to consider for redox. And rule one is an atom by itself is zero. So if we have, and that includes our Brinkelhoff. So if we have like H2, the oxidation state would be zero. If we have Mg, the oxidation state would be zero. Rule two, the total sum of the oxidation state of all atoms in any given species, and that could be an atom or a molecule, is equal to the net charge on that species. So we could also need to take into account polyatomic ions. So if we have something like right H2O, that means the sum of all the oxidation states are going to be zero because it has no charge. But if we think about something like uh, OH minus, the total charge is going to be negative one. Okay, so in a neutral species like water, the total sum of the oxidation state of all atoms is zero. In ions, the total sum of the oxidation state is the charge of the ion. So in a compound, the oxidation state for group one metals is plus one, which you already know. For group two metals, the oxidation state will be plus two, you already know that. The oxidation state of fluorine is always negative one that's actually f-l-u-o-r-i-n-e sorry about that the oxidation state of hydrogen is plus one almost always uh, if you have something like lithium hydride l-i-h then the lithium would be plus one the h would be minus one the oxidation state of oxygen is minus two. All right, let's look at some examples. So we got a whole bunch here. So we're going to assign each element its own oxidation state, and this is something that you're going to have to do. All right. So oops, I made a mistake there. And A, it's by itself, so it's zero. Cl2 by itself zero. And a plus, well, it tells you what it is, so it's a plus one. Cl minus, same deal, minus one, zero, zero. Okay, so here, oxygen is minus 2, Mg, it's a uh, group 2 metal, so it's plus 2. Okay, H2, SO4. Well, SO4 comes from SO4, 2 minus, so that means each hydrogen is going to be a plus 1. Okay, the oxygens, each one is going to be minus 2. Since there's 4 of them, we have a total of minus 8 which means the S is going to be a plus 6. Because we have two hydrogens, so that's plus 2. We had four oxygens at minus 2 each, so 2 minus 8. We end up with, we have to have another one, 6. All right, H2O, the oxygen's minus 2, each H is a plus 1. HNO3, well, the hydrogen's a plus 1. The oxygens are each minus 2 for a total of minus 6. See what I did here? I put the oxidation state of each oxygen on the top, then the total sum of minus 2 times 3 for minus 6, so plus 1 on the hydrogen, which means the nitrogen is going to have to be plus 5. All right, OH minus, the oxygens minus 2, the hydrogens plus 1. Minus 2 plus 1 is negative 1, which is the charge on the species on the polyatomic ion. H3O plus, the oxygen is minus 2. Each hydrogen is plus 1, so we have plus 3 minus 2 equals plus 1, which is the charge on the ion. 
All right, you might want to go back a little bit and go through those again. Maybe back up, remove all my writing and stuff and see how many of those you can do. All right, so redox reactions are dealing with a transfer of electrons, okay? And the way we have to remember what is what is this handy-dandy little phrase, oil rig. That's oxidation is losing, right? Oxidation is losing. Reduction is gaining, and it's all about electrons. Some people like to say Leo says... Ger. That's if you're losing electrons, it's oxidation. If you're gaining electrons, it's reduction. I prefer oil rig because that's how I learned it back in the day. All right, so it's all about a transfer of electrons. Now, here's the trickiest part to remember that the oxidizing agent is reduced. So when something gains electrons, it's an oxidizing agent. The way I like to think of it is the most common oxidizing agent is oxygen. So when oxygen bonds with something, it oxidizes whatever it bonds with. And the oxygen is reduced because it's gaining electrons. It's usually going from a charge of zero to a charge of negative two because it gains electrons. And on the opposite side, the reducing agent is oxidized. All right, so let's look at an example here. 2Mg plus O2 yields 2MgO. So initially, right, each magnesium has a charge of zero. The oxygen, they each have a charge of zero. Here, the oxygen is negative two, and the magnesium is each plus one. And there's two of them, so everything balances out. So let's see what's happening here. We have magnesium, which is zero, becoming Mg plus one. We have oxygen, which is zero, becoming oxygen minus two. So oxidation is losing. So magnesium lost electrons, so it was oxidized. Reduction is gaining. Oxygen gained electrons, so it was reduced. The oxygen is the oxidizing agent because it took away the electrons from the magnesium. The magnesium is the reducing agent because it gave away electrons to the oxygen. Okay, in a nutshell, that's kind of it. All right, they each started with a zero. The one that gained electrons was reduced, so this is the reduction reaction in here. The one that lost electrons was oxidized, so it's the oxidation reaction. All right, but we're going to have to learn how to balance these redox equations, and there's steps involved, so let's take a look. So we're going to balance this equation here, okay? So step one is assign the oxidation number, so I'm going to rewrite the reaction, Fe plus CuSO4 yields FeSO4 plus Cu. So I need to figure out what's gaining and losing electrons. Well, SO4 as a whole is SO4 2 minus, and that didn't change. So that's neither, right? So, I, so I'll take this whole thing here and say 2 minus, 2 minus, so that didn't change. Here, the Fe is 0 because it's by itself. Here, the Cu is 0 because it's by itself. And if the SO4 is 2 minus, copper's got to be plus 2. If here, the iron, if the SO4 is 2 minus, the iron has to be plus 2. Okay? I could go through and say each oxygen has a minus 2, meaning this is a plus 6. Each oxygen has a minus 2, so this is a plus 6. But that's really not necessary in this case. All right, so now I'm going to separate the half reaction. So I can see here iron is becoming Fe2+. But I've got to keep track of the electrons. So here, this iron lost two electrons. Now, I can't put minus 2e minus, because E minus is an electron, because there's no minuses in chemical equations. So instead of minus two electrons on the left, I write plus 
two electrons on the right. Okay, so here copper was Cu2+, plus, and it becomes Cu. Well, in order for it to go from 2 plus to Cu0, I have to add two electrons here. All right, so oxidation is losing. So the one that lost electrons was this. Okay, so this was oxidation. Reduction is gaining. So this one is gaining electrons, so it's reduction. All right, so next, I'm going to balance the electrons. Well, here I have two electrons on this one, two electrons in this one, so they're already balanced. But let's say this was just one, then I would have to multiply this by two, so they're equal, the number of electrons that are going to be on the left of the arrow and the number of electrons that are on the right of the arrow. And then I add the half reactions back together. So I end up with here, right, F E plus Cu2 plus plus 2E minus yields Fe2 plus plus 2E minus plus Cu. I have two electrons on the left, two electrons on the right, so they cancel. And I end up with Fe plus Cu2 plus yields Fe2 plus plus Cu. And next, if needed, I balance by inspection. That's just balancing the way you were used to. Okay, so here, one Fe, one Cu, one Fe, one Cu. That would be balanced. All right, let's uh, practice one. What I'll do is, I'm gonna practice one with you, and the other one you're gonna have to do on your own. And when I check your homework notes, I want to see the other one balance. So what I'll do here is I'll be nice and I'll leave this one for you to do on your own. Okay? And I'll do this one here with you. All right, so first assign oxidation numbers. So this is 0. SO4 is minus 2, so each Na is plus 1. Here, SO4 is minus 2, so the zinc is plus 2. And 2 Na 0. So, first I have the zinc. Zinc, 0, becomes zinc, 2 plus. How did it do that? Well, it lost two electrons. I can't put minus 2, so I have to put plus 2 electrons on this side. Okay, Na. And notice I took didn't keep Na2. Okay, I just wrote the Na. Plus 1 is going to become Na. Well, how does it become Na? Right? Plus 1 E minus. Right now, here there's two electrons in this reaction, one electron in this reaction. Oh, wait, let's remember. Right? Oxidation is losing. So zinc lost electrons. So this is the oxidation half reaction. This then is the reduction half of the reaction. Okay, so now, two electrons here, one here. So I need to multiply this whole thing by two to balance my electrons. So two, two, two. Now I can add them back together and see if the electrons cancel. So I have two Na plus, plus two electrons plus zinc yield 2Na plus zinc plus my two electrons. All right, the electrons cancel. And let's see, I have two sodiums, two sodium, one zinc, one zinc. And there we go. Now, a common question would be is, well, what about the SO4? Okay, the SO4 2 minus. They're what's called spectator ions, so they're not really taking part in the oxidation and reduction part of the reaction, so we can actually leave that out. I know, it seems a little silly leaving them out, but we can. All right, so now I want you to do those steps with this one. 
right? This is your check. If you can't do those, you need to go back and watch the video. Right? I will not be giving credit for the homework for a blank page and a stare or people saying, ah, I didn't know what to do. All right? You need to go back and watch this again. You need to come into class knowing how to do this. All right, because this is a very, very simple one. All right, that brings us to the end, and I will see you guys in school.